Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. In this video, you'll be watching me and my guild go for the uh, Obsidian Sanctum 25 man achievement, which is called the Twilight Zone. And uh, this is the short version of a full length video. If you want to watch the full length video, I will have that linked here. I will also have a guide for what we did and how we achieved this achievement. Uh, this is, of course, the shortened version for those that are interested in just watching the end. If you want to watch the strategy or want to hear the strategy, then I suggest going checking out the guide that I have made for this video. With that being said and done, I do hope that you guys enjoy this. If you do, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button, share, comment, and subscribe for more similar content. And of course, this video will be split into two sections. One will be the briefing that we had before the fight, and of course, the final fight and results of the fight. In this fight, in this guild, with a Zerg technique, even in the current uh, content, with pickup groups and so on. And I know that some people did Zerg techniques in the past. But please, tonight we're not doing Zerg technique. We're not even going to go anywhere near a Zerg technique. So please, for, for minimum of stress, I don't want to hear comments, please, like, this isn't going to work, we haven't got the DPS. Oh, it won't work, we've got too many healers. Blah. None of that, please, because we're learning this the good old-fashioned way. We're going to do this properly. And I, and I hope, I've got my fingers and toes crossed, I hope at the end of the night, whenever it ends, we have a kill, and the people who are the Zerg guys, and everybody else, who says, oh, this is the hardest fight in WoW, I hope they're going to say, it wasn't so hard after all, was it? That's what I'm hoping. So, anyway, all right, Miranda is here to fix and put it on his content channel. <laughs> so that's going to be cool if we can manage to do something awesome tonight as well. That's why I invited him if there was going to be someone missing, and it turned out that there was. All right, well, yep, I'm, I'm definitely so, here, and I am well, definitely so recording on that what note. What we're trying to do is this. In summary, so I've started kind of talking about the background. I'm going to start talking about the detail of the plan. And I guess I'm glad that I am here now because I get to see this. Well, hopefully, so it works though, to be honest. To the loo or watch TV or play some of the game for 10 minutes. Please pay attention, it's important here. So, the overall strategy is this if we stay alive for 15 minutes, which is the enrage timer, if we are all still alive after the, that. The dragons will be dead. That's, that's the strategy. It's a survivability strategy, not a speedy DPS strategy. That is why we've got three tanks in the raid to look after the drakes, to look after the adds, and to look after, look after the main dragon. And it's why we're currently sitting with seven healers currently. We might switch one to shadow later, which would still leave six healers and shadow um, stuff. There is an enrage timer at 15 minutes, apparently. So therefore, that's why 15 minutes is the, is the deadline for us. Now, um, I don't think we'll have a problem. I don't think we'll be fighting for 15 minutes. I really don't. But it won't be like 90 seconds, which is sort of, sort of the dirt, the Zerg strategy. I think if it works, we'll probably be done in about eight minutes, I would imagine. Right, so how the hell is this going to work? And, and that's what I'm going to tell you. To start with, um, when we ca came in here a week ago and we give it a few tries on 3D, I was watching the sort of whole thing, how it was going, and it's going pretty bloody well. I've got to say, it was going really, really well. And then all of a sudden, I would die. And then the red dragon would run into the raid and it would be a, you know, just it just went downhill from that point. So at that time, the problem was yet again me. It's always me, isn't it? You know, it was on Patchwork, it was on the bosses, and it probably will be in all the way through all the while. It's always the problem's me. So I, I looked at things and I thought, if I can fix that one main problem, then at least I can keep that dragon from getting into the raid. And the raid have time to do what they need to do, because this is all about the raid doing what they need to do. All I've got to do is I've got to keep that dragon busy for eight minutes, seven minutes, and then the, the final minutes you're going to kill it. So therefore, it's my survivability was the problem. Now, having researched the mechanics in great detail, it's actually one particular piece of the fight where the problem occurs. And the precise window where this, where this occurs 
in, I'm going to tell you how the window happens because that's how we're going to beat this boss. What the window happens, and once it happens, the dragon breathes on me for 70,000 fire damage instantly. It's not a channeled spell. It's an instant hit. 70,000 fire damage. That's the problem. So we've got to reduce that 70,000 fire damage down to something that I can handle. And the way to do that is he has a cast time, but then at the end of the cast time, it's the instant boom. So the way to handle that is rotation of cooldowns. So I've got shield wall, Klein's got pain suppression, gamma, I can't remember your move, move. Um, I'm sure that you guys can link it. So we've got cooldowns. But the other way to handle this, and we're going to use both ways together, the other way is fire resistance. And so you guys don't need fire resistance, but I do, because I'm trying to mitigate that 70,000. So I've spent a lot of time this week sorting my gear, which will make you laugh, especially Crix, because I'm <laughs> if I put on my fire resistance gear that I'll be using on the boss. Okay. Uh, now you got me curious. Let's see. That's it. I've got it on now. I've got it on now. So I am wearing... Okay, I can see what you're doing. The following <laughs> items, which will make you laugh. A lovely head, a terrific shoulders, and an awesome legs. So I'm wearing level 70 greens, level 80 greens. These are best in slot for this fight. Okay. And that, I sacrificed a lot of other stats for this, but I found a way to reach defense cap while wearing this. And this, with the fire resistance aura on, gives me 366 fire resistance. And I've got a post I've got an elixir to put on for another fifty. And that'll take me up to about four sixteen. And uh that might be everything. I'll have to just check my checklist. But basically that is excellent resistance against fire resistance. Now I tried it against a um fire mage who dueled me last night. He could not kill me. I just stood there and let him shoot at me and in three minutes later he decided to use arcane spells because he could not kill me. That is the effect of fire resistance. So I'm basically going to combat tonight dressed in a full asbestos -dos suit. So th therefore, <laughs> um, that's my contribution. I should say, I'm, uh, I'm there is a the thing with uh, now, asbestos. I thought that was dangerous. That Causes lung cancer or something, now, doesn't it? That little window, you remember I was talking about that little window where the dragon can breathe 70,000 damage. He, he doesn't do that all the fight. The reason that that can get to 70,000 damage happens when one particular thing occurs. You know the second ad, the second blue drake? When the second blue drake appears, fire damage is um, increased, and I think it's by 100%. Okay, that's bad enough, but the ad, when the, you know that each of the drakes has a portal, and inside the portal they have some friends. Well, the, the fire drake, this middle one, the second one, he has a, a, an ad inside the portal. And when that ad is alive, he further buffs fire damage by another 50%. So basically, when the ad inside the portal and the second drake are alive, fire damage is increased by 150%. Or oh, I'm not sure if it's multiplicative, actually. So it could be 250% or something like that. So our technique to, to reduce this window, which we're going to deal with with fire resistance and cooldowns, but we're also going to deal with it in a way that you wouldn't normally do in this fight, we're going to go in the portal and kill that ad. Because I can handle the 100% extra fire damage from the blue drake, but I can't handle the 100 from the blue drake and the 50 from the ad for an extended period of time. Our cooldowns will get us through the, the t 20 seconds but if the, if we don't kill the ad in the portal it's two minutes and our cooldowns are all on cooldown so we can't we can't handle that so therefore when we talk about a specific plan tonight we'll be going into the portal the second portal and we'll be killing the ad now also the third drake that comes down later in the fight he also does some nasty buff and the, the ad inside the portal makes it even nastier so when the third drake comes down we'll be jumping in that portal as well and then might they these 
the second and third drakes, they might create portals later on in the fight as well. So whenever we see a portal, we're going to go on the second or third drake, we're going to jump into the portal and kill the ad. And that's key. So I'm going to be starting to tell you a little bit more detail about the plan now so that we can save time at the boss when we get there. So we're just well, going to kill the plan, then we're going to kill the trash, then we're going to give it a try. And then we're going to die a few times, and then we'll slowly get better at doing this fight, and then we maybe get the kill. So, allocations tonight are going to be this. Obviously, I'll take the, uh, the main dragon, and I'll need three healers. So I'm planning on having Klein, Gamma, and um, Drigna as my sort of three-man healing team. Now, guys, I will probably only need all three of you to be focused on me in that nasty little window, but we'll see, all right? So that's that's Plinky. Triggs, who will be tanking the blue drake and the, and maybe the second blue drake as well, we will see. We, we might refine this later on. Crix is going to be looked after by um, Ninja. So Ninja, your job is to make sure Crix does not die. Okay, Crix, I hear you. Uh, uh, Jungle, your job is to keep the ads under control in the main room. Okay, so let me just make a note to mention ads here in a minute. So Jungle, your healer will be critical role. Right, so that means that healers, <coughs> when if I take massive damage down to like my last 10% health, only Klein, Gamma, and Drigna will be working on getting me back up again. Everyone else, you already have other jobs to do. So you don't leave your dedicated target in order to come to my rescue. I've got three healers and that'll be enough. That leaves Remro and Kuig. And you guys are holy priests, I think. Is that right? Or is Kuig disc? No, no, that's holy. Beautiful. Well, that's why I've left you over because you're, you're healing the raid. So your primary target is healing the raid because there will be raid damage. Now, guys, there are excellent healers in this party tonight and a lot of them. I might have overcooked it and you're going to have to tell me if I've overcooked it. So after the first try or the first two tries, if you're telling me too many healers then and, and no one is dying and we're absolutely safe, at that point, one of you, either Kuig or Klein, will switch to Shadow and will make the decision based on whether the raid is the hardest thing to heal or whether I am the hardest thing to heal. Because if, if I'm easy to heal, then Klein can go Shadow, so I lose one healer. If the raid is difficult to heal, it is easy to heal, then Kui goes Shadow, and then only Remro deals with the raid, okay? So that's the plan on the healing. So, a couple of other things. Crix, this is going to make you laugh your boobs off, okay? Crix, this is going to, like, blow your mind. Tonight, I'd like you to, to put your vigilance on me. Do you know why? Damage reduction, of course. Exactly. You can. You are not going to be in any kind of threat problem because you just pump, pump, pump threat, and so do I. So I'm going to put my vigilance on you. So that means that we both get three percent damage don't, reduction. Don't, don't put it on me. I'm going to put it on you for the damage reduction. Yeah, but you'll take more damage from that. That's no, I won't. No, no. It doesn't. It doesn't transfer the damage to me, does it? It only oh, reduces, no, no, it reduces the damage. The threat. Fair enough. Yeah. That's right. So there's no extra damage. This is a protective move. This is a beautiful protective move. So we'll do a vigilant swap, okay? That's 3% damage less I'm not going to take. That's wonderful. Um, I'm sure there's some, some other stuff that I'd written down or thought about, but there's a couple of things that I need to mention. Uh, here's one of them. You know those little fire ads? I don't know whether everyone in the raid knows this. Those little tiny fire ads that spawn, sometimes they enrage and they get bigger. And when they get bigger, they hit harder. Does anybody know what makes them get bigger? When you get hit by the wall. Exactly. So tanks, whoever's got these fire ads on you, you must not only get yourself through the wall, you must get the little ads through the wall as well. Because that way we're just we're saving a problem from happening. And if it does, then ropey, that's right. You can maybe get a hunter to tranquilize them or something like that. Or maybe a shield slam will take it off them. Um Crix, here's another one for you. There is only me and you in the raid for warriors tonight so um if you can try to find once because you know once you're tanking stuff you're not going to lose threat can you 
um, especially during heroism, pop into battle stance and get um, shattering throw onto your target when we're nuking it down, because that would give like a, a serious uh, armor reduction to your target, and everyone's going to be nuking it, so it's really going to help. I'll be doing the same as well. It's it, it's the same as Sombra armor, but I believe it stacks higher, right? It go, it actually is extra. So it makes the armor even less of the thing we're killing. So that means it makes the DPS even more. Now, we've got um, Elisha to go fire mage tonight so that we have every single DPS buff except one. It's the shadow, uh, it's the hit rating on uh, whatever we're attacking. And the hit rating would normally come from a boomy or a shadow priest. Well, you know that later on we might switch one of the guys to shadow priest, in which case we've got every single buff in the game that you can get by having a raid. So therefore, guys, I want to I wanna make sure that you've all got the appropriate food, flasks, uh, potions, elixirs, battle guardians, and everything else you could possibly use. If you don't, just say, pe other people in the raid can trade you. That way we can have a maximum consumables raid. But I wouldn't try it on the first try, because I'm going to guess, I'm going to just say maybe we'll wipe on the first try. After that, we can start using the consumables. Uh, right, uh, so the Lingi, one, one thing, when you mean consumables, do you mean flask, flask as well? Because if you last one hour and really don't... Yeah, if you stick off. your flask on, yeah, if you stick yeah, your flask on. I mean. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is heroism. So, now then, I want you to just picture the fight, okay? This is not a DPS race. This, is, this boss is not a DPS test. This boss is a test of your ability to coordinate and organize a raid team of maximum performance and for everybody in the raid to do what they're supposed to do and play as a team that's what so if we succeed tonight it will be down to great team play that's what it comes down to and that's what we're going to work on um and i'm sure we will perform very very well but the main thing is there's one plan and we're all on the same plan now after each wipe if there are multiple wipes We'll have a few minutes to discuss tactics and change things around a little bit in that window. Please remember the rules. Comments like, there's not enough DPS, we need less healers. That's not going to help. But positive, constructive comments about, what about if we change this? What about if we do that? What if we moved over here? What if we moved over there? These kind of things will are very constructive and will help us. So I'm just going to talk one time through the fan, one time through the plan from beginning to end. So. We've, we're going to engage the boss. I'll be taking aggro on the boss. We're not killing the boss in the first 30 seconds. Um, you can't win this fight in 30 seconds. All you got to do is just... Um, what I would do, build your bonuses on Sartharion so that when the first blue drake arrives, you have your bonuses. So, for example, Crick's. Hit, attack Sartharion until you've got full rage so that when you go into the battle on the blue one that comes down, your rage bar is full. I don't know how rogues work, but if the same was true, Tiny uh, and all the other rogues here, build your combo points to max and let your energy be at max so that when the blue drake comes down, you can do everything. Um, and yes, of course, tricks. Uh, so whatever you can do to build things on Sartharion, do it. But you're actually not trying to kill Sartharion. You're just waiting for the blue drake to arrive. Now, when the Blue Drake arrives, that first one, the, the debuff that that first one does is simply 25% less health on everybody in the raid. That's nothing. We can handle that. We can handle that for the whole fight. So it doesn't matter that we don't kill the first Blue Drake. And the ads, exactly the ads that come out of the portal, they're annoying, but we can handle them. It's not a big deal. So when the ads come out of those portals, we just jungle will take them and everybody everybody in the dps team deal with ads please whenever you see an ad deal with the ad that's the rule of tonight because as long as we get the ads under control the healers can cope everyone will be alive piece of cake okay so quick yes bring the ads to the blue drake and cleave beautiful um quick tank all the blue drakes beautiful in theory what we do is we get the first drake and we're just nuking him. We're not using heroism on the first rake. No, no, no. We're not using heroism then. Heroism is going to be used. To, you know when that second drake comes? And that's when the dragon starts breathing the nasty fire window. 
that's our heroism window because that window will be used to quickly kill the ad in the portal and then to come out of the portal and, and then quickly kill um, the, whichever drake is first to die, you know? So it's got to be the first drake. So you get the first drake down and then continue to DPS the second. But as soon as the next drake comes, as soon as there is a portal, DPS go through the portal. And I'm just going to tell you one more thing about these ads in the portals. The dragons, the blue drakes, they have about two and a half million health. I've rounded it, but it's about two and a half million. The drakes in the things in the portals, the single guys in the portals, they have about 270, something like that. So they have 10% of the, of the health bar of the blue drake. And killing the ones in the portals, therefore, is 10 times faster than killing the blue drake. And we need to kill the ads in the portal to get rid of the nasty debuffs. Once the portal ad is dead, the debuff goes away. So that's the priority. And that's what, that's the phase, that that's the bit that heroism is required for. So basically, when we get the blue drake down and the portal opens, and we're going to, uh, there's, there's going to be some testing here, okay? So we want that heroism to go on everybody. So as soon as we see, I think as soon as we see that the second Drake is ready to be killed, is, is Crix has it under control, that's when we pop heroism. So that will benefit when you jump into the portal, you'll have heroism on you. You'll be able to kill that Drake, the thing inside super fast. And in the main room, where we still are, where we're not in the portal, the healers on me and on Crix and on Jungle, they'll still be pumping out uh, with heroism. So they'll be able to heal back up at this nasty debuff situation that we're in. And then the final thing is, now, Kui. Kui, um, let us use, if you might go Shadow later. Actually, Kui, ignore your name. Remro, Remro, you have a special role. You're gonna be the healer jumping inside the portal. So we're gonna send one healer in the portal and we're gonna send one tank, but Jungle and Plinky and Crix. They're staying in the main room for the whole fight. The tank in the portal is ropey. He is our secret weapon tonight. So basically, um, everybody except the following people will go into the portal, all right? So the only people who will stay in the, hot, in the main world are Plinky, Klein, Emma, Drigna, Crix, Cri Ninja, Jungle, Critical Role. You will never go in a portal because your job is to keep the blue drakes under control and the main dragon under control while the other guys are in the portal. Now, there's just the one final thing I'm going to say, one complication, and then we can start killing shit. The last complication is when you kill the ad in the portal, you are transported back into the main room. It's not a click, it's automatic. That is a very dangerous moment. Because if there's a flame wave at that moment, and you all get hit by the flame wave, because it's not your fault, you just come out of a portal and a flame wave hits you, that's a wipe. So we will be talking, the guys in the main room will be saying, if there's a flame wave or not, and if there is a flame wave building, stop attacking the ad in the portal. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can handle a few of them. I will it's a shit I do like the color of the my blue purple drake, bluish purple drake. Here we go. Here she comes. Which way? Right, we go firewall right there. That's the gap, I think. There we go. Drag him in front and start hitting it. <laughs> Yeah, you just have to keep it refreshed, that's all. Right, where's it coming from? Alright, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine where I'm at. 
I was lucky. Okay. Right. Nice. Everybody go into first portal. Oh, and just like how everybody's just first. gathering at the portal right now. What the fuck did Are we going in? Is this portal that I need to shield wall there? Yes. yes. No. Oh, no. Right, okay, that was the wrong portal. Yeah. Now it. Oh. <laughs> right. Pop. right, I need to avoid stuff. Which way? Right, let's go. Flame right, step. I can't move, so there's no point in me. I, I mean, I wanted to go there, but I made a um, guess there as to the chances of me getting to the portal before the flame wall and everything is up. So I, of course, also had to deal with the ads and stuff. And I just kind of, I mean, I should have done it, but I kind of went against what everybody else was doing. Hey, it kept me alive, so didn't cause any harm to the raid. Ooh. There's fire being spat towards me. Don't like that. <laughs> Makes me feel very uneasy. That's fine. I can stay here. I can take this down. Am I targeting the right one? I feel like I'm not. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's the one. We have two DPS and one healer down. One healer back up. Let's res the other DPS as well. We've got another healer down. Right, three people down. I mean, it is looking pretty good. We are getting the hang of this. I don't think it'll take too many more tries, you know. Watch your step. Brilliant. Watch your step. The issue I'm having here. As far as I can tell, is on occasions my ghoul keeps dying out. What Don't know if it's dying because of oh, I was standing in a purple thing. Uh, because I'm constantly going into the portal and it's not coming with me, or if it's because of that. Oh, nice. This is looking a bit more controlled. I'm liking it. Wait, wait to go in. Oh no, am I gonna make it? I'm gonna have to make it. I'm gonna have to run for it. Go for it. I'm in. Watch your step. Shield wall is available. Tell me when I should use it. End of shot run. End of shot run is down. Watch your step. Cool, this is looking really good. Which way? So it's only a Watch your step. Right, I think I'm in the right position. Right, I didn't get hit there, that's fine. I have an enraged add on me. Watch your step. So, things. Is that right? Cool, right. Avoid the purple stuff. Watch your step. Shit, okay, I'm the only one in Huh. I didn't go through it the first time. Interesting. <laughs> Took a few Watch attempts there. Step. This is getting really close now. Oh, no, no, no. This is... Yeah, this is the end of me now, isn't it? Wow. Okay, if I make it, make it through this, I can really thank the healers. I, honestly, that was not... Oh, here we go. Okay. Try and kind of get through this and kind of go with the wave so I don't have to worry about it. There we go. I am curious to who's tanking the main boss. Come on, down you go. Beautiful. Right, is is butts kind of in the way? Is everything dead? There we go. Come on, let's get this guy down. Yeah, well that's why I went into the portal. I didn't like where his tail was. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay, we definitely have some amazing healers in this guild. Right. Come on, we can do this. I'm gonna have to go underneath him. Right there. That'll do. 
I'm at the tail. I'm at the back. Line at the back. Right, we just need to sort of stabilize this right now. We've lost quite a few people, but this is uh, looking really good. And the only thing to watch out for, which is maybe going to happen or maybe not, is the 15 minute enrage. But otherwise, just kill it 25 man. Flame wall. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. It is looking like we are getting this one done. Tell you what, one thing that's nice about fighting dragons when you do attack them from the sides, they do have a fairly big um, hitbox. Hold on, where am I going? Right, here I go. I was just trying to work out whether in rage or not, that's all, from the heroism timer. Yeah, I do think we're going to need a bit of heroism right now, just because so look, we are down a couple it's of people, nice and of course right every now. person counts in this particular fight for this particular Keep achievement. Yep, there we go. Side, side, side. Sorted. Try and get some of these guys hit, take them down on the way to the boss. Okay, we're doing alright for the ads for now. I'm trying to catch them in that death and decay. Here we go, here we go. It almost looks like some people didn't make it through. Or was that my ghoul? I'm not sure what was happening there. Oh, that's fine. We get another one up. <laughs> Send them in. Where's it coming from? Flame wall. Right again. Okay. Right. I mean, you can definitely hit him from a nice distance. And so that kind of puts me closer to the center of this little arena fighting in. I mean, it is looking very possible right now. Keep those ads under control. Every time you see an ad, kill it. Forget. No, fuck it. again. We cleave it. We cleave it. Side, side, side. Right, I want to try and John grab Lowe. these ads with my death John and Lowe. decay if I can. That'll do. Take the ad through the flame wall as well. So that it does not get hit there we go. I'm not sure how much that helped, but I did try. <laughs> oh, where's it coming from? Right, hold on. Difficult to actually tell this one. All right. Okay. Oh, don't, 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 don't fucking kill him. <laughs> what, uh, what is happening? It's a mistake. It's too far away. Just take it. Everybody yeah, back out. Let jungle get right, out. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Back out. Bring everybody them back, back in. Out. Yeah, other plus out. I can deal with the ads, I guess. Turn him around so his tail is looking the other way. Firewall. Firewall sides. Ah. He's the leader. He'll heal the jungle game. So, yeah. Okay, right. Jungle, keep coming up to the main fight area. Too far away. We can't, we can't get up after. So. That's it. People, move slightly move to towards the where Retronic yeah. is. Move I towards Retronic raid. I don't know where the hell he's he is. He's in the corner. He's in the corner near the body. Yeah, move nice. to blue. Move to blue. Nice. Okay. In ten seconds, What's we have zero risk. Pop as soon as it comes up. Firewall is fine for us. Firewall. Oh, this is getting really close right now. <laughs> There's a lot to take into consideration. It's going to be cool if we get this done. Still chances for this to go wrong, but it does show 
that we have some really good players in this guild and in this one raid right here. All right, we got thick up here, right? That's fine. That was right there. The fire dudes are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. Nice. Yeah, I've been dealing with lag spikes throughout the whole fight. Not sure. Maybe I have something running in the background here uh, that's causing it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, with that being said, folks, I guess this is the end of the raid. It was fun. It took about two hours. I'm looking at the clock, but do you know what? It is not a bad way to spend two hours. I absolutely enjoyed it, and uh, it was fun. It was fun challenging myself, and uh, really definitely fun being part of an amazing group to do this with. So, honestly, I have enjoyed myself, folks. I hope you have enjoyed this video as well. I will be making a guide as to how to obtain this achievement, and of course, I will be putting that out. That does take a bit more editing than this kind of video. This is a full length video. And uh, so if you've made it to the end of this video, I really do appreciate it. It does mean a great deal to me. Also, you do get a title, which is um, absolutely quite nice to have. Apparently, the title is a way of showing off how amazing you are. So, uh, of course, I'm going to be doing that because why not? You know, uh, everybody in this particular group if should be doing the exact same thing tonight, because it is it's something you know it's something We've big it's something bigger it's uh it's important you know not a lot of people will ever get a chance to achieve this and you know uh, at the time that we're making this video it's you know our things will evolve and uh the game will have new this patches coming out we'll but at this current time, time as it is now not a lot of people will have it so definitely worth every effort <laughs> thank you all for joining me i really do appreciate it and i'll see or you folks in the next video until then stay safe folks <laughs>